Hi everyone and welcome to this Pilates workout using a TheraBand. And as you can see, my TheraBand um, is about medium weight. It's not very long. I would like a longer one, but I can't find one here in South Africa. So I probably need to import one, but that's not going to happen today. So we're going to be using this band to support us in some exercises, but also to make it more challenging in other exercises. So we're going to start our workout with an arm warm up before we use the band now i want you to come into a kneeling position if you feel like it if you want to get into some ankle mobility for this this part of the class you can tuck your toes underneath and then sit back onto your heels if this is too much for you you can untuck the toes but otherwise sit back feel that nice stretch in the feet and we're just going to Elevate the shoulders, bringing up, them up to the ears, and then lower them back down. So just getting into that shoulder mobility for our warm-up, because we're going to be doing some arm work right now. And we want to make sure that our shoulder joint is protected, and we're not going to get any injuries. So warming up is so important. Perfect. Okay, you can hinge forward a little bit. And then we're just going to scissor our arm. So we're going to take one arm overhead and then we're going to switch. Okay, inhale as you switch. Exhale as you take it up and press back. So we're getting into the triceps as well. Mobilizing the shoulder joint. The shoulder joint is very mobile because it lacks bony attachment. So we want to make sure that we don't injure it. Okay, perfect. Warming up the shoulders, go slow. Okay, then bring your hands down to your hips. We're going to lift them up overhead, circle them around. So inhale, lift up, exhale, circle them around. Follow your breath, getting into some circumduction. Make sure that your ribs are down towards your hips. So you're not flaring the ribs as you take your arms up overhead. Okay, last one here, then we're going to change the direction. So circle it up and then down. Inhale to circle up, exhale to come down. You're doing so well. We're almost done with our warm-up. Then we're going to go straight into the exercises. Okay. Perfect. Let's do another one. Release that, take a nice shoulder roll, rolling it all out. Release your neck side to side. Untuck the toes. Should have felt a nice stretch there in your feet. Okay, we're gonna take the band underneath our knees. Make sure it's equal on both sides. We're gonna be getting into some arm shoulder work. Starting with some front raises. So you can come up into a kneeling position and then we're just going to lift our single arm up lower it and then alternate sides and then lift double <sighs> exhale to lift inhale to lower try and keep your shoulders down they will elevate a little bit as you take your arm up that's totally normal but try and make sure that your arms your shoulders aren't up by your ears as you do this exercise. Keep that core engaged, belly button to spine, ribs sliding down to hips. So exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Let's go for another one. Perfect. Now I want you to hinge forward. Make sure that spine is straight. We're going to take the band a bit tighter now, coming into a tricep press. So engage that core, and then we're going to, I'm actually going to take it in front. So I'm gripping in front, and then we're going to bend the elbows, press back, extending. You should feel this in your triceps, so extend back. And remember, the closer the band is, that you take the band, the tighter the band is. 
So if you take it further away, it's going to be easier, which is good. You can go at your own level using this band by making it shorter or longer. And I want you to remember that throughout the class. Exhale, press back, keeping those elbows in towards the body. Okay, last one. Come back up. And now we're just going to do a side raise. So we're going to exhale, lift. Make sure that your arms aren't in line with your shoulder. They're slightly forward and then lower. Keeping that core engaged. Try and keep those shoulders down. It's natural for them to come up a bit, to elevate. Okay. My, yeah, my band's about a medium weight, so it can be tough doing these arm workouts using this band, but we're going to do a full body workout today, and it's going to be challenging. Last one, lift, lower. Okay, perfect. Come down onto your glutes. We're going to take the band around the balls of our feet. Okay, so extend your legs out long. Make sure your band is equal. <sighs> okay, hold it tight. Flex the feet, legs together. You're going to come back into your half roll back. So you're tucking the pelvis under, the core is engaged, ribs sliding down towards the hips. You're coming back into your C curve. Okay, and then we're going to come into a row. So stay here, hold here, and then Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. So keep that belly button towards the spine. So you're not popping in the abs. You're keeping that intra-abdominal pressure. Exhale, row. Perfect. Let's go for another three. Two. One, maybe go a bit lower. Okay, stay here if you can, otherwise take a little rest. And we're going to go into a bicep curl. So you can, you don't have to take your band so tight and then you can pull. See, I need more slack. Okay, exhale, bicep curl, inhale, extend. Ooh, this is hard work and we've just started class. Now you can see exactly why I started with that arm warm up so we can stabilize the scapula okay let's go for another three two one and then roll up to seated perfect Okay, we're going to come into a, an oblique half roll back. So you're going to extend your arms up and then we're going to sweep the arm to the side, coming into a twist. Inhale, lift, extend the spine, creating length. Exhale, sweep the arm. Inhale, lift. So we're getting into those obliques, that side waist. Perfect. And into those arms. Keeping that belly button to spine. Okay. Let's go for another two. Make sure that the other arm doesn't come across the midline of your body. It stays vertical, stays in line with your shoulder. Perfect. Whew, release that. Come down on lower onto your mat because we're going to come into a roll up now. So take that band, release the shoulders. And then you're going to roll down slowly, 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 vertebra by vertebra. So you get onto your back, rest your head. Inhale, flex the neck, roll up. The band is assisting you. Okay, exhale, come over the legs, scooping the abs in. Inhale, lower down, vertebra by vertebra. Exhale, complete the roll down. So follow your breath again. I'll say it again. So inhale, flex the neck, roll up. Exhale, scoop the abs up and over. Bring your head between your arms. 
inhale roll down halfway exhale complete the roll down let's do another two more like this rolling up through our spine flexing over our legs and then rolling back again articulating through the spine slow controlled okay flex the neck coming up and over keep that tension on the band and then roll down vertebra by vertebra okay perfect now we're going to keep the band underneath our feet i want you to press your lower back into the mat so you're coming into an imprint this is going to protect your lower back and make sure that you don't get injured so press that back in you can see there's no space between my back and the mat and then you're going to lift up your legs to tabletop 90 degree angle hold that band your arms can rest on the mat and then we're just going to extend the legs bend them again so we're coming onto a diagonal that back is pressed flat to the mat if you want come up into an ab curl so we're going to be working the upper and the lower abs perfect you're doing so well inhale extend exhale bend flexing those feet let's go for another three two one hold it out now we're just going to point the feet and flex them so we're coming into some more ankle mobility okay very good really press into that band with your toes pointing them and flexing okay we're going to lift our legs up towards the ceiling and then lower them down keeping that back press flat to the mat and then lift so if you can only lower that amount and you're keeping your back press flat to the mat stay with that if you can go lower that's good so inhale lower exhale lift okay try and keep your gaze towards your thighs it's going to help your neck because the neck is also working hard here okay let's do another four three two one lift it up lower the head okay just take a nice neck release shifting side to side okay shaking your head and then we're going to bring our legs onto a diagonal <sighs> okay you're going to hold it here back press flat into the mat point those feet and then we're going to lift up into a crunch so the upper back is coming off the mat the thoracic upper thoracic spine exhale lift inhale lower you're sliding the ribs down towards the hips so you're not looking up at the ceiling you're looking towards your thighs towards your knees okay keep that belly button towards the spine that intra abdominal pressure no popping in the abs okay on our next one we're going to lift up to a teaser i don't know if i'm going to be able to do this today so we can take modifications so i'm going to try and do it so you're going to grab the band tight bring it closer rest that head and then you're going to lift up use the band to help pull you up lifting up to the teaser perfect okay then you're going to roll back down vertebra by vertebra if you need to bend your legs and then you can roll up use that band to help you lift up if you need to take another modification feet on the floor and then rolling down they all they're all difficult <laughs> so go with your modification that you want to 
I'm going to try the full one today. See how that goes. Yesterday I couldn't do this. But maybe today I'm a bit stronger. Kind of, not really. But <sighs> Go at your own level. I'm trying out this level today. Seeing how strong I am. Okay, inhale, lift. Lengthen the spine. Roll down on your exhale. Inhale, lift. Lengthen. Roll down. Perfect. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Let go of that band. Oh, that really works your grip. Oh, just bend. Bend your fingers. Release your fingers a bit. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And then extend your body long. Releasing the abs. Okay, you should have definitely felt that in the abs. Whew. Okay, we're going to now roll up vertebra by vertebra. So take your hands to your head, lift up, exhale, roll up, reaching forward, and then lift up. Okay. Okay, so we've done arms, we've done abs, now we can do some glutes. That sounds completely reasonable, I think. Um, just get your band ready. Mine's a bit stuck. Okay. So come into a four-point kneeling position. I want you to take the band around the ball of your foot, your right foot, and be working the right side first. Okay, make sure it's really wrapped around your foot. That's the thing about these bands, they're a bit fiddly, so sometimes it can take you a while to get into position. Okay, so when you're ready, come into your four-point kneeling position. Take that band, put it underneath your right hand, so make sure you're pressing into it. You're going to need that weight in that band. Okay, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're going to lift, bend, extend the right leg. And when you do this, I want you to prepare. So slide the ribs down towards the hips, creating a slight tuck under of the pelvis. And then we're going to press that leg out, bend it back in. Make sure that your hips, take a look at your hips. Are they square towards the mat? Mine are square, I'm not dipping into that supporting leg. Make sure your back is straight. So when you lift that leg, make sure that you're not going to mess your water glass or your wine glass or your coffee mug, especially the wine. You don't want to mess the wine or the coffee for that matter. Sacrilege. So exhale, extend, inhale, bend. Perfect. Feeling that glute contraction. We're not going to do much here because this band is quite intense. And your glutes will get tied very quickly using this band. It's not like body weight exercises where you can do a lot. Okay. Let's go for another three, two, one. Hold it back, extend it, little pulses up. Little exhales here, we're almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend it in. Okay. We're gonna come down into a sideline position. Take that band in your left hand. So we're gonna be on our forearm and we're going to bend our legs in a 90 degree angle. You can take the band with both hands because my grip strength isn't great. Okay. So the band's still around that right foot. Foot is flexed. You're lifting up out of your shoulder, out of your side waist. You're going to lift that leg to about hip height. And then you're going to extend, bend. So exhale, take it out. Inhale, back in. Try and keep those shoulders down and back. Lifting up out of the side waist. So you're not slacking here like you're on the beach. You're pushing up out of that shoulder. This is a very active exercise. And you're definitely going to feel this in the glutes very soon. Okay. Let's go for another two. One. 
hold it out, lift, lower, exhale, lift, inhale, lower, push up out of that side breast, perfect, let's go for another four, three, two, one, hip height, take it forward, inhale, exhale, sweep it back, so feel that glute contraction as you take it back, we're coming into a bit of hip extension, but when you extend your leg back, I want you to make sure that you're not arching in your spine because it's easy to arch that lower back as you take your leg back and then your whole body goes forward. We don't want that. We want to keep the upper body stable. Okay, exhale, take it back. Feeling that glute contraction. Inhale, take it forward. Last one. And then we're going to hold it back. Little pulses here. Little exhales as you pulse up. Burn it out, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down, ah, pat it out. Woo, okay. Take that band, that fiddly band. Take it behind your left foot now. We're gonna do that all over again. It's, whew, it's a very hot day here. In South Africa, it's 37 degrees today, so I have my fan on and try my best to get through. <sighs> Hope it's not as hot where you are. Okay. That band is underneath your left hand, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Connect to that core, draw the ribs down towards the hips, slight tuck under of the pelvis, and keep that form. So you're going to press back, bend in. Exhale, press back, gaze in between your hands, keeping the hips level, square towards the mat, <sighs> making sure that you are not messing that wine glass that's on your back. <sighs> okay. Let's go for another three. Last two. All the weight is not in that right leg. Let's do one more. Hold it back, pulses up. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Okay, take the band in the right hand. Come down into your sideline position. Knees are bent in a 90 degree angle. Take that band with both hands. Push up out of that shoulder, out of that sideways. And then we're going to lift that leg about hip height. Extend, bend. Exhale, extend. Putting that resistance on the band. You should feel it more on this side because we just work this side on the other side. So it's going to be harder this side. Push up out of that side waist and that shoulder. You're not lying on the beach where you're sinking in. You're lifting up, keeping that core engaged. Okay, hold it out, extend it, lift up, down. So you're not lowering it down past hip height. You're keeping the hip height and then lifting up. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Keeping that good form. Okay. Breathe through it. Okay, one more. Okay, hip height, take it forward. Exhale, take it back. Inhale forward. Exhale, take it back. Squeezing that glute as you take it back, but not arching in the spine. We're not sending the upper body forward. We're keeping that upper body still, stable, Let's go for another two. Last one. Hold it there. Pulses up. Finish it out here. Finish it out strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo, lower it down. Ah, tap it out. Tap it out. Okay. So we work the arms, the abs, and the glutes. Now we get to work the back a bit. So we're going to take that band in front of us, 
come down into a prone position on your tummy. I'm just going to take my mic off. Okay, so there's no interference when I'm on in a prone position. Okay, slide down your mat. Make sure your legs are about mat distance apart, slightly externally rotated. Point through those feet. Extend, extend those arms forward. You can give yourself some nice slack on the band because we're going to take the arms up and over. So rest the forehead on the mat. And then we're going to inhale, lift our chest off the mat, taking that band up around back behind us. Now at this stage, you can adjust your band, see how much slack you need, and then exhale, take it down again. Inhale, lift up, gaze slightly forward, not up, you're not hyperextending in the neck. Inhale, lower, uh, exhale, lower back down. Inhale, lift, coming into extension, using those back extensors. Exhale, lower. Okay, this is going to be Oh, last exercise for this class. Keeping that belly button towards the spine. Let's go for another three. Last two. Last one. Hold it back there. Now pull the band apart. Bring it back. Exhale, pull apart. Inhale, bring it back. Finishing off the back work. Strong. We're almost there. Let's go for another four. Three. Two. One. Take the band up and over. That was nice shoulder mobility. Okay, release the band. Taking my mic back on, and then press back to a nice, well-deserved shell stretch. And we're going to finish class with a little bit of a stretch. So take the band, come down onto your back. You're going to take the band in your right foot, roll down onto your back. Okay, bend that left leg and then extend the right leg long, flexing the foot, just being that foot in closer to you. So you're coming into a nice hamstring stretch. Feel it at the back of your leg. Okay. Bring it in closer. Stretching out the hamstrings. This is a, such a nice stretch for the hamstrings using the band. Okay. Release that. Take the leg over the left, the foot over the left. Bring it in. Feeling a nice glute stretch now on the right side. Okay. Oh, just bring that left leg in. The closer you bring it in, the more of a stretch you'll feel. Releasing here. Okay, release that leg. Take the band on your left leg now. We're going to come into our hamstring stretch again. Flexing the foot, bring it in towards the body. Just breathe through it. Okay. Try and soften. Taking the nervous system down a bit after this class. Okay, release that. Take it over your right leg. Hug your right leg in towards your body, feeling a nice stretch in the left glute. Relaxing, taking it down a notch. Okay. Release that. Take your arms out to the side. Cross your legs. And then we're going to just drop our legs down towards the right. Oh, that was a nice click in my back. Ah, nice rotation of the spine. Look towards the left hand side. Take it up and over. Towards the left, look towards the right. Okay. Come back to center. Swap the top leg. And then lower down towards the left. 
take it through center, come down towards the right. Come back to center and then we're going to roll up to seated. You can use your hands to help you up. Okay, come into a cross leg position. We're just going to take the band above our head and then laterally flex the body, the spine, side to side. Perfect. It should feel so good to the spine. Okay. Come back to center. Release the band, roll the shoulders, roll them forward and back. And that's it for today's class, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this Pilates class with a TheraBand. And if you have liked this class, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you found it. If you would like to see more classes like this as well. And subscribe down below. It really supports my channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye.